Good morning, PHS. It's Teresa. And Kylie. And on to the sports desk. Thanks, guys. Last Thursday night, the Perry boys soccer team played a rain-shortened game against Boardman and Perry Stadium. Before the game was cut short, Caden Basham scored two goals while Jeff Hostetler scored one, declaring the boys soccer team winners of the game with a score of 3-1. to one. This brings their overall record to six wins, six losses, and two ties. Their next game is tomorrow at Glen Oak. Good luck, boys. Let's get this next win. That's all I have for you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Destiny. And on to your morning announcements. $10 Perry Spirit blackout shirts are available to students and family members in the athletic office, which will admit those wearing the shirt free admittance to the final fo home football game on October 14th, as well as to designated up upcoming boys basketball game, girls basketball game, and wrestling match. Students and adults attending all four events will save $6 and $15, respectively. By purchasing the shirt now, don't delay and get your Spirit shirt today. Attention Math Club, we will be meeting today after school from 2.30 to 3.30 to vote for t-shirt designs and play board games. There will be snacks. Please plan to attend. Students, if you have not filled out a new form for lunches this year, you need to do this as soon as possible. You have until today. Hand them into the cafeteria. Attention students who are planning on taking a College Credit Plus course next year at PHS. This only applies to Stark State courses. The Compass exam will be given two times after school in the library during the month of October. The dates are Tuesday, October 11th and Tuesday, October 18th. You must sign up to take the test. The sign-up sheet is on the bulletin board outside the counseling office. You must report to, to the library on the day of testing by 2.40 and bring your social security number. The Compass exam will no longer be offered after October 18th. It will be replaced by the ACU Placer exam. It is strongly suggested that students wishing to take a CCP course during the 2017-2018 and 2018-2019 school year take the COMPASS exam on October 11th or October 18th. Students wishing to take College Credit Plus French next year must have the required ACT scores by February. If you do not have the required ACT score, English score of 18 and reading score of 22, it is strongly recommended that you take the December ACT exam. November 4th is the registration deadline for the December 10th ACT exam. Just a reminder, Stark State and Point Park will be here in the, today in the library. The PHS Lettuce Club is planning its first event. Anyone interested in participating in the Lettuce Club's autumn competition should stop by room 220 to cast your vote for Thursday, October 6th at 2.45 on, or Friday, October 14th at 5 before the football game. If you have been putting off joining the Spanish Club, stop it. This is the last week to pay to join the Spanish Club. It is also the last week to order your Spanish Club t-shirt. The deadline is the 7th. See a Spanish teacher for more information. Today we're going to leave you with some information from Mr. LaCourt about the PSAT. Everyone have a great day. Hi guys, this is Mr. LaCourt from the Counseling Office, here to tell you a little bit about the PSAT. I'm going to talk, talk to you about what it is, when it's offered, who should take it, and why you should consider taking it. The PSAT, in large part, is a great opportunity to practice for the SAT, as you're going to be encountering some questions that are very similar as the college entrance SAT exam. It'll also get you on the mailing list for many colleges trying to reach you for the SAT. The PSAT also may qualify you for the National Merit Scholarship if you're a junior and if you score among the top 3% in the nation. National Merit Scholarship has some many lucrative opportunities to help you pay for college. Sophomores and juniors ought to be the first ones to consider taking the PSAT. For juniors, because you can qualify for the National Merit Scholarship. And for sophomores, because it's great practice for the SAT as well as the ACT. Freshmen are more than welcome to take it as well, as it can be great practice for them too. The PSAT consists of two tests. 
a math test, and an evidence-based reading and writing test. It takes about three hours to complete. We'll do it here at the high school. The math test will focus on problem solving, data analysis, algebra, and advanced math, while the reading and writing will focus on reading passages and ad addressing grammar issues. The PSAT is scored similar to how the SAT is scored in the way that the, the scores will be equivalent to one another as well as a, there's no penalty for guessing. We will also give you resources for how to prepare for the PSAT with some study guides, some websites, and some practice tests. The test will be offered on Wednesday, October 19th here at Perry High School in AV200. You must register by getting one of these handouts from the guidance office. The cost will be $15 per person and the, the uh, it'll be done and the deadline to register will be Friday, October 14th, 2016. So we'll hope you give us some thought. We'll hope you take the test with us and join us for the PSAT. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening. And we hope you'll follow us at Perry High School Guidance.